For 3M VHB tapes, like any adhesive, it is important that the surface is clean and dry in order to achieve a good bond. Heavy oils, greases, and other residues can be removed using a number of commonly available solvents. In order to remove dirt, oils, and other contaminants from your substrate, you must use a disposable towel or cloth and a solvent. 3M suggests using an isopropyl alcohol-based solution, 70% IPA and 30% water. For oily substrates, we suggest using acetone instead of the isopropyl alcohol solution. The common preference of many users is to use a durable, dark-colored cotton rag, also known as a bag of rags. If you're going to use a cotton rag, it is preferable to use a white cotton towel as contaminants are visible. 3M recommends using a disposable paper industrial towel or a pre-moistened wiper for optimal cleaning. Here you'll see a piece of metal being cleaned with 70% mixture of isopropyl alcohol and water. The two cloth method uses a wet cloth followed by a dry cloth if needed. For dirty surfaces, a quick pre-clean may be needed to remove visible contamination. For the final clean, move the wet cloth down the surface and, if necessary, follow with a dry cloth. When bonding materials, it is sometimes necessary to use a primer or adhesion promoter on your substrates. A primer creates a new surface for the tape to bond to. Priming a surface can significantly improve initial and ultimate adhesion to many materials such as plastics, paints, and other low surface energy substrates. It is important to determine the suitability of the 3M VHB tape, the adhesion promoter, and the application process. Here you will see 3M's general recommendation on the four available primers, the most common surfaces on which they are used, and the recommended application method. Prior to priming, you'll want to first ensure that your surface is cleaned. For some surfaces, we do a pre-clean on a visibly contaminated area. Then, expose a new surface and use a two-cloth method down the bond line. Here you'll see an example of some of the recommended application techniques. Here's a disposable towel with primer applied, followed by a dry towel, also known as the two-cloth method. A dauber bottle followed by a dry towel. And lastly, primer applied with a foam brush. After application, wait to ensure that the primer has fully dried. In some cases, abrading your substrate prior to applying 3M VHB tape may improve adhesion performance. Abrading a surface can remove heavy levels of dirt or oxide from metal or paints, create additional surface area, or smooth the textured surface for improved contact area and adhesion. Abrading a surface is best accomplished using a 3M Scotch-Brite 7447 hand pad, a right angle grinder with a coated abrasive, or a dual action sander with a 3M Scotch-Brite 7447 pad can also be used. You can also use a 3M elaborator tool to efficiently prepare the surface. There are a number of effective ways to apply 3M VHB tape. Choosing the right method is dependent on the specific application and volume of your business. After the substrate is cleaned and, if necessary, primed and abraded, you are ready to apply the 3M VHB tape. The most common way to apply is by hand. Simply place the tape at the edge of the surface and lay it down with constant pressure. Cut the tape at the end of the material. You can use a file cleaner to easily lift the red protective liner off of the 3M VHB tape. The hand tape applicator can be used to efficiently and accurately apply 3M VHB tape. The laminator applies 3M VHB tape precisely while simultaneously applying final pressure. Notice how the applicator smoothly applies the 3M VHB tape as the post is guided through. Simply cut the tape at the end of the post to complete the application. After applying the pressure sensitive 3M VHB tape to your surface, it is necessary to apply pressure. 
You can use a laminate or J-roller to apply pressure, 15 PSI or more across the width of the tape. This pressure facilitates optimal wet out of the adhesive onto your bonded components. In rare cases, you may have to remove 3M VHB tape from your bonded surfaces. This could be because of an application error or to repair a damaged component, such as a dented trailer sidewall. To remove or separate bonded components, you can use an oscillating tool to cut through the adhesive. Spray isopropyl alcohol to the edge of the tape to help lubricate the cutting blade and prevent the separated tape from bonding together again. Run the oscillating tool down the length of the tape, cutting 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch deep during each pass. Once the components have been disengaged, you can use the tool to remove any residual adhesive. Use 3M adhesive remover to remove any residual adhesive remaining in the bond area. Simply spray the residual tape with the adhesive remover and allow the adhesive remover to soak in and loosen the adhesive. If necessary, scrub the surface with a 3M Scotch-Brite hand pad to help remove the residue.